Hello, everybody. Trader Geek here. Welcome to Doki Doki. Uh, literature club, I guess. Uh, this is gonna be awkward. Uh, yeah. green. So, I don't know anything about this game. My friend said, you need to play this. And I said, why? Well, you like horror games, right? I'm like, this can't be a horror game, can it? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, you need to go play it. Okay. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she totally, like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw towards herself. I will say this: I am terrible when it comes to reading. The girl's that girl is Sayori, Sayori, Sayo, Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were ch uh, children. You know the kind of friend you know, you've never seen yourself making today. But it's just kind of works because you know each other for a long time. We used to talk to school. We used to walk to school together one day like this. But starting around high school, she was she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to if, she, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just I just sighed and wait, I just. I deal in front of. The, I decide and I deal in the. I I'm sorry. I, I'm stupid. Uh, in front of the crosswalk, like let, let's uh, already catch up. Just, just sigh. I deal. Oh. A sigh already. Ah -hoo -hoo! Whatever the, that's supposed to be. I overslept again, but I can't catch you. This, but I I can catch you this time. Maybe. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for- Maybe because it's only because I decided to have wait for you. Eee! You, you say that, like, you're thinking about ignoring me. That- That means trainer green? Well, well, if people stare at you for acting weird- If people stare at you for acting weird, then... I don't want- I want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. <coughs> but you did wait for me. After all... I guess you don't have. I I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we walked. We we crossed the street together and make and make our way to school. As we drew near, the streets became increasingly spark uh, uh, sp speckled with other students making their daily commute. Yeah, how could this be a psychological horror game, guys? I think I was just lied and pranked to play this game. I doubt it. It's just a fun game, an adorable game. Let's play it. Uh by the way, Trainer Green, have you decided on the club to join a club to join it? A club? I told you already, I'm I'm really not interested in joining any club. I, I haven't been looking either. Oh well. That's not true. You told me you would join the club. Uh, join a club this year, did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of the, uh, in one of our other, in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively got along with, w got along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry, he likes to worry a little too much, a little too much about me when I previously uh. When I'm perfectly content just being, just getting by on the average. <laughs> okay, I'm doing terrible right now. On the average, while spending my free time on games and anime. Um, games and anime are fun. Uh huh. I was I was talking about how I was worried about you <laughs> that you won't learn how to socialize and have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know, and I, and I know well, you're happy now. I, and I know you're happy now. Okay, I make sure I didn't read that. But I die at the thought of you becoming, <laughs> about you becoming a neat, and if you a neat, and a, a neat, a neat in a few years. You're not, you're not using, you're not, you're not used to the real world. Whatever a neat means. You trust me, right? Don't make don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. 
I'll look for. I'll look at a club. I'll, I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yes, I. I guess I promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get l lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even. Uh, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worried so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does not, even if she does aggravate everything inside of her head. Wait, aggregate, aggr okay, okay. The school day is, an ordin is as ordinary as ever, and it's, oh, it's over, a and it's over being, I know it, before, before I know it. I'm, s I need to... I need to go to school again. It's just terrible. After I packed up my things, I'm staring. I stared blankly at the wall, looking for any ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorority wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <coughs> Seems solid. Hello, Sayori. Sorry, must have came into the classroom while I was pacing out. I looked around and realized that I, I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and, and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you even worse than me sometimes. I, I'm impressed. You don't need to wait for me. You don't need to wait for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well... That you could come to my club. Sorry. Yay! Yeah. That is... There is no way I'm going to your club. Uh, meanie. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Not that I'd e ever aware that she had an, in an interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did... To do it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club, since she was, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in the literature club is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyways? Well. I kinda told told the club yesterday I would bring in a member and Nasuki made cupcakes and everything. Uh well I see hee <laughs> hee Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I promise, by, by, I promise. Fine, I'll stop for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. <coughs> and thus, today marks the day I, t I sold my soul for a cupcake. For a cupcake? I deject, I dejectedly followed, um, followed Sayori across the school. And upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being, be generally used for third year class, third year classes and activities, Sayori is full of energy, swinging, uh, swinging open the the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me new member. E, I glanced around the room. Girl one, gotcha. They don't have a name yet. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sayori is always saying nice things about you. Yes, because I'm awesome. Girl 2, seriously? You brought a boy? Hey, hey, hey. Just because I'm a guy doesn't make me... What? Wait, it doesn't make me dumb, doesn't make me... Okay, maybe I am, but still. Calm down, okay? I'm perfectly fine to join the literature hub. I'm perfect. Ah, Trainer Green. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <coughs> mm. All words escape me in the situation. This club... Is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. 
Nasuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, who na whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her think. It makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Asairi. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Tori says that qu quietly in my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the small wait, the smartest in the club. Don't say th th don't say things like that. Yuri, who apparently compar is comparable, more not more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nasuki. And well, it's nice to meet you both. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And Sayori, and 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 it se sounds like you already know Monica, 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 or Monica. It's is that right? That's right. <coughs> it's great to see you again, Trainer Green. Monica smiles sweetly. Great. We don't ha we don't know each other. We do we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, complete. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me, having her smile at me, is so, so, ge <laughs> genuinely feels a little, a little, <laughs> a little feels a little. I'm, I'm trying not to laugh as much. This can't be a psychological horror game, guys. Y uh, you too, Mani Monica. Come sit down, Trainer Green. We made we made room for you at the table so you so you can sit next to me and Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. Hey, I made them. I get them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <coughs> then how about I make some tea as well? Tea's nice. The girls have a few desks arranged in a f in a form to, to form a table. As I already mentioned, it has been wide wi widened so that th there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yori walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed a wrap a wrapped tray and Yuri opened the closet. Still feeling awkward, I, I take a sip. I, I take a seat next to. So I don't. Oh, I want to sip. I want. I want to say that tea's done already. This night, Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? That smile is actually kind of creepy. Ta-da! What the hell? What? Yes, I'd like to save the game. Um, thanks? What the f- Oh, I must say something. Uh, Natsuki lifted the f the foil off and the train revealed a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cu to look like little cats. The whiskers were drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used as to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were, you were so good at baking, Nazuki. Eh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. S Sayori grabbed one first, then, Mon then Monica. I followed. It's delicious. Sayori, Sayori talks with Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Nazuki is quiet. I can't help notice that she that she I can't help notice her sneaking glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nazuki. Well, why are you are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything? <laughs> Great. Eh, I thought you were. I thought you were technically. 
I think you technically did, sir, he said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. Great. Alright, alright. I give up on Nazuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returned to the table carrying a, a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us for for settling down the tea for setting down the tea pot next to the cupcake tray. <coughs> you keep a you keep a whole tea set in your this classroom. Don't worry about it, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Hehehe. <laughs> he Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri. Just, try, just trying to un impress you. Yeah, that's not it. Insulted... <laughs> insulted Yuri looks... <laughs> Yuri looks away. I admit that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be might not be a good task time for me, but I, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Uh, great. Yuri faintly smiles to, to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, so, what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Maniki that I was practically dragged here by Suri. Well, I haven't joined a club yet, and Suri seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make, to make the club as fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member uh, for any th any of the major clubs. <coughs> Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the the politics around the the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing, but uh, arguing about the budget and politicals and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if, if if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I suppose there ha there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention by, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that, that you both fun that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events it makes some school events like the festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we are all, that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate, right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goals. Monica must be work <laughs> must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe maybe that's why. I mean, that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can really keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Trainer Green, what kind of things do you like to read about? Well, uh, considering how little I read in those past few years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. Manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Zuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after she after seeing Yuri sm sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. 
Yuri trace traces the rim of her of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fant fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and, and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling and telling a good story is such a foreign world, and such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on uh, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to she seems so reserved and and timid. Such since the moments I've walked in, but it's obviously by the way her eyes light it, light up with, that she finds her com comfort comfort in the world of books. Not people. I need to get a drink. Wow. I'm reading a lot. I should have. Yeah. Great. I am. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements with with immerse immerse me as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer how a writer can can so Deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you on a, for a loop. Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, no. 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 We are not going into the world of books for this, okay? If that's what's happening, I, I disagree. Okay, maybe I don't. But sort of disagree. That's all I'm going to say. And I've been reading... And I read a horror book once. I desperately guess uh, I definitely grasped something I could relate to at a, a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that from you, Yuri. <coughs> For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But I guess you say that. But. If a story makes me think or take me into another world, that then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very su successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh no, you do not. Horror's for everyone, sweetie. Oh, why not? Why? Oh, why that? Why's that? Well, I just Azuki rolled. R eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write. Uh, you usually like to, like to write about cute things, don't you, Nazuki? W what? What gives? What gives you that idea? <coughs> you left a piece of of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Nazuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Nazuki, you, 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 wrote, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share? Why don't you share them sometime? N no, Nazuki averts her eyes. You you won't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how uh, Nazuki feels. Sharing that level of of writing takes more than just confidence. The <laughs> the truth the the truth. Truthest, trustest, something form of writing is writing to yourself. You must, you must be willing to open up to your reading readers, exposing your vulnerability and showing even the deepest reach of your heart. Do you have, do you have, do you have writing experience to your? Maybe if. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can you can set an example of and help Nazuki feel confident enough to share hers. Eh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. <coughs> uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit down in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? 
Mizuki Yuri look fuzzy at, Mona uh, at Monica. Let's all go go home and write poems of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, now, now that we're now that we have have a cl new club member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bonds of the club. Isn't that right, Trainer Green? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on there. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? N now there we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly came forward with what's being on my mind entirely. I never said I would join this club. Sorry, to, sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made that my de any decisions. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I lose my train of thought. <laughs> Couple of them stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought, hmm, Trainer Green. This is such a weird name for them to call me. You should name my real name. Okay, you all know. Oh whoa! What the fuck? No. You all know. I I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it when it's like the that. That is, if writing a poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right, okay, I'll, I've decided then. I'll join a literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lightened up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sorority wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If he really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we are officially ending today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment. Write a poem to bring next morning so we can all share. Monica looks over at me. One, I looks over at me once more. Trainer Green, I look forward to seeing to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the classmate star Monica with my medi medi <laughs> mediocre writing skills? I already felt feel like not just writing up just whatever. I didn't mean to click. Meanwhile the girl the girls continue to chit chat about as Yuri and Nazuki, uh, Nazuki clean up their food. <coughs> hey, Trainer Green, since since we're already here, do you want to walk home with me? That's right, Sari and I walk home walk home together. Anymore, uh, <laughs> never, Sari and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stays home in the literature club. Sure, might as well. Yay! Okay, now that we're here, uh, let's save. Yes, we'll overwrite this. I haven't made any decisions yet, so I'll just keep it in. With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wandered back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Nazuki, Yuri, and of course, Manika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I have a chance to go closer to one of those girls. Alright, I just need to take take the most of my circumstance and make sure a good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem. Tonight, I don't want to write a poem. Please don't let me write a poem. <laughs> oh no. It's time to write a poem! Pick words to... to Think your favorite poet members would like. Say something might say something good might happen with whoever likes the poem most. Why are these all skipping down here? Oh, <laughs> Kawaii. Flip. 
fluffy. I don't know. Cute? What's going on? Fantasy, because he doesn't like a good fantasy. Um. Doki Doki. <laughs> Just like with the ocean. Daydream. Waterfall. Why does she... Wait, whenever I click one, does that make them jump? To whoever it goes with? Giggle. Oh, it does! Okay. Happiness? I don't know. Playground. Anime. Dream. Chicks. Laugh, because we all need a good laugh. Uh, uh. Twirl! I don't know. Uh, uh. Let's get this through. Collar. Games. Get a buddy sugar. I hope it actually lets me read off my phone. Hi, trainer green. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and save real quick since I just did that poem. Glad to see you didn't run away from us on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. <coughs> This might be a little strange for me, but but I have at least I, I but I have to at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was at least I, I was I was the last to come in, so everyone else was already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Trainer Green. Hey, when Trainer Green says he's gonna keep his promise, he got he's got your back. He's got he, he's gonna keep it. That's how it works here. I hope this isn't too overwhelming. Of this commitment for you. Making you dive heart first into the literature club when you're not... Whatever. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Hey. Yeah, I'm dumb. Don't. Sorry you told me you didn't want... D didn't want... Didn't even want to join the club. Didn't even want to join any of the club this year. At, and last year, too. I don't know if you plan on just coming here to hang out or what, but if you don't take us serious, then you won't see the end of it. Nezu, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her, her manga collection in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Azuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. <laughs> well, swiftly defeated. Nazuki plop, plops, pl plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Trainer Green always gives his be gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He help he's he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. He's dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is messy. It is so messy it's distracting, and you almost set the house on f you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come you and Trainer Green can can become good friends too? Uh, Sayori? Hmm. As usual, Sayori seems observant in a weird s situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri, even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori, eh, me? 
Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Shardy made it sound like a big deal when it really is not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So anything, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll it'll make me happier no matter and make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I, I won't make a big deal. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Uh, well, here, Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I don't. I didn't. I didn't want you to feel locked out, so I I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short. It, it's a short read, so it it should keep you entertained, even if you don't usually read. And we could. And we could, you know. Discuss it if you wanted. <laughs> this is how is this girl accidentally, accidentally being so cute? <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusi I enthusiastically take the book. You just I, we just said I wasn't gonna be enthusiastic about this love. Why are you doing this, me? I think my other me just really. He's really something. Here, well, you can read it all. You all, you can read it all. Uh, you can read it at your own pace. I'm look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's sitting settled here, in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for this club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So Freddie and Monica are having a ch a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a in a book. I can't help but notice her in intense expression like she's was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nazuki is is rummaging around in the closet. <coughs> uh, I hear utter a a, a, a something sigh. She doesn't seem she seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in ca in case she need, needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica, she never puts my st stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your coll collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Nazuki slides a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't you you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out what the other person stands. How did you know, anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of it, it, it's kind of it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. I see that 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 that's a loaned volume. That's a loaned volume of magazines. A second for uh, uh okay stuff. She's doing. Curious. I pulled out, pulled it out. I I pulled it out of the stack. There it is. Zuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to the box and manga and slips the volume right back into the middle of the, to the right other end. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I thought that I thought I I know that feel I I know that feeling. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she, she was mining. <sighs> you know what? Of course we would have the course. It's a ser it's a series I've never heard of in my life. It's, that probably means it's either it's either it's either probably means it. Either way out of my demographics, or it's simple. It's simply terrible. It's a simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can do. You can go do it through the glass of of that door. She p she pointed to the glass door. H hey, I wasn't judging anything. I don't even. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice, but I tell you, you're one. I can tell you one thing, Trinity Green. Considering this is lesson 
is is a lesson straight from a literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Suki pulls out the first volume. <laughs> Great, I'm going to show you exactly what. She she shoves a book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls, uh, four girls in in colorful and my <laughs> striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there. Uh, Luki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the out of the closet. She takes me. She takes a seat against the wall beneath the win, win, window seal. She puts. She pats. On the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take a seat. Chairs don't. Chairs wouldn't work. We read more. We we we, we can't read at the same t time like that. Uh. Why? Why is that? I guess it's either. I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. Uh, d don't don't just say that. It's because she's short. You make me feel weird about it. Then she crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't expect. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it is particularly a bad thing. I open the book. <laughs> it, it's only a few sentences before Nozuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I feel I can feel her healing over I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more eagerly to begin reading than I can. Well, how long has it been since I've read read the beginning? Hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes ever, even now and then every now and then not really maybe something something after maybe sometimes after i have already finished the series hey hey are you paying attention uh i i i am but nothing really ha happened yet so i just i can i so i can talk at the same time i can talk at the same time and it looks like it looks like it's it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of this of these things, since it's rare for a writer to be entertaining enough to make it make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is is there going to be to be plot? Well, obviously, you think. I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot. I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of a lot of the beginnings is about simple things, like there are really funny f funny chapters there. They're 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 obsessed with a guy with an ice cream shop. Oh, guy at an ice cream shop. This is with an ice cream shop. I'm about to be so confused. But that just helps you get to know the other char the the characters, and besides, it's still entertaining. But later on is all kinds of drama, like when you get into all the backstories and when some of some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hee <laughs> hee. It's like, Ken, there's like that psychopath smile there. Like, what is that? Hey, wait. What is that supposed to mean? Ah, uh, this is a gave me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you and at your full power. Hmm. Good save. G great, 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 great save. That's how you, guys, it's how you get, get a girl. Stop being mad at you who likes manga. You, you gotta keep doing manga shit back to them. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Nozuki paused for a moment as if she didn't want to admit something. Yeah. What does it matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. 
since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would, like I would ever get into anything because it was in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that imp that's impressible. <laughs> Aha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Nazuki's interest in baking. <coughs> Still, all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Hold on, let me get... Uh, it's so far away. Uh, there we go. It's one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it. So, who am I... Oh, voice crack, am I the judge? What the hell? She's like so close. She's now that you look at her like this, she's so freaking small. Mm hmm. We read for a few more minutes. I finish a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure that this isn't boring? Boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I I'm fine with that. Is that so? I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I've always I always get excited when I when I'm conf, when I'm conf, when I I'm convinced any of my friends to pick up a, a to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. You don't. Uh. That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your mangas with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, so she's a she's she's she doesn't like that she reads mine. She thinks it's embarrassing that she reads mine. Yet, <coughs> girl, it's not. You're fine. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just they think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, "Hey, you still haven't grown out of that 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 yet." Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find a friend who won't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I already keep a. I already keep. I, I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I I, I gravitate towards the other lo other other loser <laughs> towards the other losers over time. But it probably is harder for some someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even- I, I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the classroom. Except, Mon except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Uh, uh, I can't- I just can't win, can I? Well, it, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Hmm? Hmm? So? so? Aha! Jeez, that's enough. That's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Shuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Nozuki puts her finger on the on one of the panels. Minori, Minori is is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when uh I shouldn't I shouldn't be talking about that yet. You should just finish this chapter. Nozuki's voice sparkled sparkled with excitement. It, it it's a start. <laughs> Contrast to her usual bowsy tune, B bowsy tune. B but if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in it. It's it's hard to express in words that the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that, and being able to con to provide that to to Nozuki, for whom is a rare experience. That. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Are you all ready for the po today's poem? 
<laughs> oh, come on. Couldn't your timing be any worse? Sorry, I just need to make sure we we have enough time. Though you don't look pretty, but you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> uh, Nazuki suddenly noticed how close she's gotten to me. She honestly, she instantly slides herself and got 12 inches away from me. All right. Guess I'll I guess I'll stop here for now. I closed the book and handed it towards Nazuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but Monica just said, "Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you." It is that really all right? I say that honestly because I really don't didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course it wouldn't take forever to finish it finish it if you j didn't if you finish it if you didn't take it home just finish that one and before tomorrow we so we're we can start on the next one and if it gets bent i'll kill you oh no is this how the story is this how it goes like she gets pissed off that i've been her novel so she wants to kill me i only got part ways through the volume so far i might fall behind on some sh some show if I try to get this. <laughs> I suppose that a necessary sacrifice in exchange to seeing Nazuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of, be of what would happen if I didn't finish it? Aha! Uh -huh, Alright. Uh, I, I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, do did you remember to write your poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation did. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone someone to share share with? I can't wait. Hiroshi and Monica and Susie as you pull out their poems. Wrinkle is on a, a wrinkled sheet. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on... <laughs> Composition notebook. I can't already hand. She has a great handwriting. Pristine handwriting. Nazuki and Yuri comply as well, reaching for their bag. Let me scoot over because I'm hitting things. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't. I do the same. I, I sell. <coughs> Hold on. Let's go to save. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Nazuki because we've already had a manga experience. I told Nazuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I'd share mine with her first. Hmm? What's up? Okay, well, let's start with the thing with 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 the things I don't like. First of all, uh, Nazuki reread my re -re reads my poems. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, that's what's the point of sh uh, that's what's the point of, sh of sharing in the first place. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Eh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in, in mind when writing this. I'd hope it would make you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. <laughs> Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours, if if yours was, if yours was really bad. Oh, my poems are amazing, guys! Yeah, just show me some dumb poem and make me go. Ah, well, if not that great, but let let me show you what what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you like it. Ark. Nazuki retorts, gets not in <laughs> God damn. Uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to be so an announcing it to the... You don't have to be you have to go announcing it to the world, world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. 
I said that mostly to myself. Nozuki must really hate me or something. I, I can't figure out if it if it's a win or a lose if it's a win or a lose that a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if you I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see a snake, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I, you know, I'll give you an out of 10. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Why are you just why are you so convinced that I I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in, in high school high school th thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems to be for, for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less vivid, I mean, any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when I like it when I like it. I like it when it easily when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everything around you, seeing ar everything around you do great things can be so. Seeing, seeing, seeing everyone, seeing everyone around you doing, you, you doing great things can be so really disheartening. <coughs> so I decided to write. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for the rhyme at the end, but. Then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what I mean to be. That's what it means to be a pro. Great. Now you're gonna brag about your host. Great. I. I. Look. Okay. You know. You know what's best. I, I'm not a literature type of guy. Okay. I'm glad you learned something. Yeah. I'm glad I learned something too. Nazuki. Didn't expect this come from from the youngest. Didn't expect that to come from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I just I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nazuki is feeling proud, then I would take. I won't take it away from her. Uh, sorry. Let's go. This is a good poem, Trainer Green. Are you sure it are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not it's not that good. And I'm I am the kind of guy who would be who I'm the type of guy who would be writing poems and and I'm not the type of wait. Am I am I the type of guy that would write poems in his spare time? What? I thought you wouldn't say he wouldn't be the type of guy. I guess you're right. But that's that's why I'm it's impress it impressed me. Well to be honest. I was afraid that you wouldn't do it serious, seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you really are, are, are really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the classroom. <coughs> uh, uh, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't doesn't mean I I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before. Deep down, you're not selfish at all. You know? Trying new things, like this one, is for other people. That's something that only good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not sure- I'm not sure if Sayuri sees a full picture of my motivation here. But then again, can't deny that she's a part of the reason I joined. Knowing she she'd much meaning how much this means to her and all. Yay! 
and I'm going to make sure you have a lot of fun here, okay? Then that will that will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, now you real, now you really, now, now you read my poem too. Don't worry, I, I'm really, don't worry, I'm, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, well, see it, we'll see about that. Oh my God, dear sunshine, the way you glow through my mind in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss, missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me, to, to help me out of bed, make, making me making me rub the sleepy the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out of, and play? Are you are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? It took a it it looked <laughs> it looked above the sky is blue. I looked above the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it, if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, I liked the Zuki's better, but then at the very end, I want, I want breakfast. It brought it back, okay? You brought it back. You brought it back, okay? Sayuri, you brought it back. This is just a guess, but did you wait until the morning to write this? No. Just... Just a little bit. You can't answer a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Sure you did. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better better about myself. Don't be mean. I will be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah? Didn't mean to say that it was, it was a bad bone. Came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yep. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Great, she made eggs and toast, guys. You know. Mm -hmm. Carefree guy. Girl, I mean. There you go. Even though you were late to class. It, it's, bad to it's bad to skip breakfast. I got all cranky. I get all cranky. Well, I well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Is everything stuck here? Anyways, thanks for showing me. Hee <laughs> hee. That was so much fun. Manika's the best. Ah uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'll I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll be looking forward to it. Yuri, let's go. Mm hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passed more than enough time for her to finish the poem. Uh, oh. S sorry, I forgot about. Uh, I, I forgot to start speaking. Uh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Sorry, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? It, right? Yeah. Why? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that is because after reading this, uh, so is it that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri buries her face in her hands. I, I couldn't help but notice that she's. Oh God! There's something in my eye. I know that there's been several minutes. It's been several minutes since we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while, a while to get get to you to, to used to new people. It's fine. I didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there were specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers and having them having been having the having been throw through that myself i kind of learned to pick pick up on them and i think the most noticeable thing i recognize is the new writer that is a new writer that that is that they <laughs> they try to make their style very deliberate 
In other words, it tends on picking writing styles. It, it, they they tend to pick uh, a writing style separate from the topic matters, and they f and they form fit the f the two together. The end result is that both of the style and the express and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri found her tr train of thought, it as if she demeanor totally changed. As if her demeanor totally changed, her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, not something you could be blamed for. There are so many. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even the a simple poem. Not that. Not that finding them. And building not 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 just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It makes t it might take you some time, but it all take it all comes with practice and learning to learning by examples, by by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone everyone else in the club gives you all valuable feedback. Nazuki can can be a little bit biased though. Biased how? Uh, well, well, never mind. I should be. I should be talking. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm sure that I'm not sure if you if Yuri was apologizing for herself to me or to Nazuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my, I would love to share my that I, perce I I love to share my thoughts process behind it. Yuri smiles. It's a rare opportunity for her. It's kind of funny. Uh, something about literature club. Ghost ghost under the light. Okay, so she is a horror person. Okay. Ghost under the light. I can't even read this handwriting. She's so good at this handwriting. I can't even read it. it. I'm not a very good person at reading, so. The travel, the treadle, the treadle of my hair illuminates beneath the amber glow. Bathing, wait, is that bathing? Yeah, it must be this one. The last, the last, the last mem. Something. I can't read this. I honestly can't read that. I can't read cursive that well. We're just gonna pretend like it was a good poem. I I am sorry. I sorry. I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I I wasn't thinking that. At all. Yeah, I was. <laughs> but it, it took it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, it, it's be well. I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that that's a relief. Also, I like the poem, even though it's short. It is really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Oh wow! I my mouse screwed up. Not at all. I really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since you're the first time, it's the first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something a, a little easier, uh, something a little easy to to dig to digest. Digest. I don't know why I said digest. Digest. I suppose. Sometimes I just feel stupid. I don't. I don't read when I should. Are you into ghost theory? Hmm. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. I'm trying to green. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember, the poet often expresses their own thoughts, feelings, and, expre and experience in their work. They, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a, a picture. And in this case, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is one being symbolic com compared to a ghost lingering into in, in her past remaining place of comfort 
unable to let let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more. <laughs> that's, that's actually. Ow! I bit my tongue. Ah! I bit my tongue. Putting it away. I hurt. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's not really. I, I, it's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep keep trying. I'm counting on you. Hi, Trinigrin. Have any good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like activity, like new activities or things that we could do better, I'll always listen. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep my, that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring them up, bring things up. I much, I much better at, I'm, I'm much better off just being with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyways, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah. Don't worry, Trainer Green. We all we're we're all a little embarrassed today. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of a uh, barrier that we're all all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I, I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like you, Trainer Green. Really? It's a lot of it's a lot cuter than I expected. Hold on. You saying I can't make a cute poem? Just because I'm a guy? Listen here. You know what? Might as well not even ramble on about this. But all I can say is I can make a cute poem. I can do it all I want. Don't underestimate me. Ow. I hit my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, no no, this kind of makes me think of something Nazuki would write. And she's a good writer too. She took that as a... So take that as a compliment. <laughs> Is that... If you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read read anything by Sh Shell Silv Silverstein? Silverstein? It may be a long time ago. He's a famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems are so funny, endearing, and even sad. And sometimes there's only a few lines there, well, a few lines long, and that might even make it might even feel like they might even feel like they're written by kids. But if you think about it, they can express view, they can express views of the world. And, uh, and that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Nazuki is kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not, a, not, not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her. But you probably won't find much filler in her poem. That might be easier, easy to read. But it might be easy to read. But it's super challenged to get the meaning though. So I can see why it would be kind of a, would be kind of fun to explore. I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. It's okay. I love seeing you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit a little bit biased towards their own kind of style. But I always see. I but I always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. If you if you, it's not like you to have to worry about uh, to worry about impressing them or anything. Hee <laughs> hee. Haha. Something like that. Uh -huh. Anyways, do you want to read my poem? <coughs> don't worry, I'm not very good. 
You sound pretty confident for someone who claimed to be not very good. Also, how come every one of you girls have said, I'm not very good, and then hand me a poem, and it's been probably better than anything I've wrote, because apparently it's, I, 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 it's probably so bad, I can't even read it. I literally just wrote some stupid words down, and that's probably the poem. They're just saying. Well, in, well, that that case, I have to sound confident. That conf that doesn't mean I, I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. <coughs> Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction of the of the. Okay. You know. I just noticed the music. Wait, can I scroll down on this? I can scroll on paper. Anyways, I the music got a lot calmer. We're weird. I don't know. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'd never know when I was home. I, 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 I never, I'll never know I wasn't home. I peered inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I, I reel blind like a film left out of the sun. But it's too late. I, oh, those two, they're they're smudged together. I, ew. is that a V or an N? It looks like an N. Reach, see, I, 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 yeah. You know, sometimes it's hard to read other people's writing. You know, already scourged with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too steep, stretching forever and ever. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, uh, and he on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very free free-formed. It's if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind. Of, yeah, that's kind of that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have have been putting emphasis on the time in between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can re it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? What was the inspiration? Uh, well, I'm not sure. I, I if I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of. It's okay. It's been influence. It's been influencing my poem a bit. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It's kind of a, it's kind of nervous. It's, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly, coming up strongly. Maybe, uh, maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. A anyways, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Something when you're, sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too. It gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try harder to make it, it perfect, then you'll make, then you'll never make, make any progress. Just, just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about, oh wait, sorry. Another way to think about it is this: if you keep your pen on the same point for too long, you're just Get, you'll just get a big black puddle of ink. So, just move your hands and go go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Phew, I guess that's everyone. I glanced around, I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I thought than I anticipated. It's it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre mediocre writing abilities. 
Even if the, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. <coughs> this is like literature after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Saira and Monica was halfly chatting. My eyes landed at your landed on Yuri and Azuki. They exchanged their poems. Good, good, respectfully, and they read. In Tandrum, I watched each other. I watched each other expression change. Azuki's eyeballs. Fruit. Okay, she's angry. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Hmm? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Azuki dismissive dismissively returned the poem to the debt. To the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fa it's fantasy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you did you only miss the symbol symbolism or something? It is clearly about feeling about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have have to say you have to try to you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say. That's thanks, but it's it's really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I don't have to, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If 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 I were looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people. Did by the way, she already liked it, and Trainer Green did too. So, be, be, based on that, I, I gladly give you some suggestions on my on my own. First of all, excuse me. Shoot, guys, we're about to see a cat fight here, but only it's gonna be like a dual cat fight where they just yell at each other, and it's just like literature stuff, and we're like, what is this? I apparently. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect... I didn't expect it to change anything soon. Unless, of course, I came across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Trainer Green liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Nizuki, Nizuki suddenly standed up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress... Our new member, Yuri. E? That's not what I... Eh. You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Trainer Green appreciates my my advice more than he appreciates yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my my advice more? Are you, are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself... I would deliberately go out of my way to make to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, uh, is everything? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Trainer Green started showing up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Azuki. Uh, Nazuki, that's a little... That doesn't involve you. I... I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, and if they just noticed, I was standing there. Trainer Green! She... She just trying to make me look... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could go... Go... Go over herself and learn... If she can go... Get over herself and learn how to appreciate that simple writing... Is more efficient is that is more efficiently effectively then this wouldn't have happened in the first place what's the point of making a poem all, all convoluted for no reason the meaning the meaning she jumped out of the the reading should jump out at the reader not force them to have to figure it out let me explain this to her trainer green Wait, there is no reason we have to do we have so many deep and expressive words ever in our language Oh my god, you guys bore me. 
avoiding avoiding them is only unnecessarily limiting yourself if also a ways. You underestimate that, right, Trainer Green? Uh, well, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I it's not like I know anything about poetry, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. I have to choose. Okay, so let me let me just say this, okay? So, Yuri reads horror stories. I love horror, but Nozuki reads manga, and I like manga. This is bullshit. But then again. Yuri gave me a book, but then Nazuki gave me a manga, and she wants to read a lot with me. And I'd much rather read a manga than a book. So I'm gonna go with Nazuki. Uh, Yuri... You're really talented. Yeah, well, but Nazuki has a point, I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think you're... Feeling just a few. I think. Oh come on! Can just can be just as inspiration as well. As it lets the reader imagine imagination over. And the Zuki poem did really a good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Uh huh. Show how shows how much you know. That's not the Zuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me. But she's the she was so mean to me. Nizuki's voice won. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can definitely be hard. But it looks like we learn. Looks like like we learned that today. Even small criticisms can lead to so something pretty he heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sorry, is not nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you do, you don't have to feel you, so you don't have to feel threatened. You're a, you're a great writer, Nazuki. Huh? Nazuki's voice got caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She she finally muttered that briefly audible. Gary, Gary looked at me dejectively, with a face that I, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Nizuki did not mean any of the, anything she said. So, you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, Trainer Green. Sheesh. Nizuki takes a breath. I... The thing is, the thing about... Uh, Nizuki glanced over around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Nizuki has a harder time with it then she bousted. Sari and and and, and, Man, and Manika looked away. Hmm. Anyways, thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it. Okay? That's all. Nizuki looked away, avoiding eye contact with everyone. Yeah, you're literally you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sari? I'll go make some tea. It, I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayuri. I pat, I pat Sayuri on the head. Well, now that we're past that, everyone reads each other poem, right? I hope it was all worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Trainer Green. And to be honest, it was a nice change of pace for a lazing, uh, for the lazing around we got a little too used to <laughs> and so and so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere no no not at all not at all there's still time before we go home we, we so we'll all relax for a bit of course besides chattering we, we do literature related things in the classroom so maybe you can take a chance to, to pick up a book or do something after all, that's what what was for. I disagree, Manaki. Manaka. Huh? What's that? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. 
Ah, uh -huh, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> in, in the end, though, Man Manika was right. Being a legend probably meant I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's about time for us to leave. How did you how did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a it was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well mostly. Trainer Green, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat it was it was a neat thing to talk about to talk about with to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. We do another poem? What the hell? And maybe you'll learn something about your friends too. So, so your poem will turn out even better. Hmm? I think to myself, I did learn a little more about about the poems and kind of everyone likes. With a with any luck, I that means I can I can at least do better do a better job at impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Trainer Green, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yee Sorry beams at me. It truly has been a while it's been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sorry. About what happened earlier. Hey, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Azuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever se I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Trainer Green, it's nice that I get to spend spend time with with you in the club. But but I think seeing seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's yee. Every day is going to be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Suri still hasn't caught on that you the, the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but doesn't it really need to stop there? Well, just have just have to see what the future holds. I already I, I pat Suri on the head. I just pat her on the head all the time. I I said that more I said that more to myself than her, but it's easier to see Suri as the inter international. As the international, inter I can't read. As the internal monologue type. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, well, I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna end this part here. Thanks for watching, it might have been a little long apart. I'm sorry, but it happens. Bye, guys.